How to Restart Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.4. So for the first way to restart Jenkins, it's as simple as just starting the service on the machine. If you're running Jenkins on Windows, you could restart the service, but I'm running Jenkins on Linux. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to restart the service using systemctl. So I'm in the console and I'm going to say sudo systemctl restart Jenkins. And if I come back over here to the browser and do a refresh, what we're going to see here is that the Jenkins controller is doing a restart. And once the restart completes, we'll be able to log back in. Now that we have our login screen, we'll go ahead and log in and we can see we're back to the dashboard. So that's the first way. Use your system level services to restart the service. Now within the UI of Jenkins, there are two different ways that you can do a restart. Now, in order to do either of these options, you need administrative access inside of Jenkins. Now for our first option, what we'll do is we'll go up into the URL and type slash restart, all lowercase. When we hit enter on that, you'll be prompted for, are you sure you want to restart Jenkins? And in this case, I'll go ahead and click on yes. And much like when we restarted the service from the command line, we also see, please wait while Jenkins is restarting. We'll come back to the login screen, and then we can go ahead and log in, and then we're back to our dashboard. Now for the second way to do the restart within the UI, I'm first going to set up a freestyle job. Now you might be asking, okay, why are you setting up a freestyle job? What we want to be able to do is we want to be able to only restart our Jenkins controller when all jobs are finished running. Now, in this case, I'm going to add in a build step and I'm going to execute shell and I'm going to sleep for 60 seconds and click on save. Now, you might be asking, why aren't you doing a pipeline job? Since pipeline jobs can continue running and recover even after a controller restart, this next process ignores any pipeline jobs that are running. So let's see how this works with a freestyle job. So I've defined my freestyle job. So let's go ahead and click on build now and the job will run for up to 60 seconds. While we're waiting on that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in safe restart and that's with an upper R for the restart. Now you're prompted, are you sure you want to restart Jenkins? Jenkins will restart once all the running jobs are finished. Now our freestyle job is still running. Let's go ahead and click on yes. We'll see that Jenkins is going to shut down, but nothing else is happening. So if I refresh the page, it's going to continue to run while the job is running. But as soon as that job completes, then our controller is going to restart. Now that the job is finished, the controller is restarting, just like we've seen before. Please wait while Jenkins is restarting. Now we're back at our login screen. And finally, back to our dashboard. So that's three different ways that you can restart Jenkins. The first way is just by using your system processes. So if you're on Windows, maybe you're restarting the service, or if you're on Linux, you're using systemctl. And the other two ways are within the Jenkins controller, both of which require that you have administrative privileges on that controller. You can do slash restart or slash safe restart. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBeast TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.